It's a pretty nice sunny chilly day today and so it's the perfect time. I have a couple hours. Um, I'm going to work in my raised bed garden. Um, I have four raised beds like these up by the house. Um, I grow my garlic and that one over there and the far one over there. Um, this bed contains, um, I was growing lettuce and kale in here and I was very pleased to see that some of my kale um, overwintered really nicely. Um, if you're not familiar with overwintering, it means that um, it survived the winter and without me having to do anything, um, it's already starting to grow on its own. So I was really pleased to see that with uh, my kale and um, lettuce. So I'm going to get this area cleaned up um, and I'm not going to plant anything new in here yet. Um, I have some kale seeds started in the house um, that I will plant um, once we are closer to the last frost date, which will be around Mother's Day probably. Um, so I'm just going to get this cleaned up today. So that took maybe five minutes. Um, so as you can see, you saw me, you know, um, raking my hands through it quite a bit. What I'm doing is trying to clear out um, a lot of these dead leaves and um, wood chips and things like that. But I didn't get rid of all of them because um, I covered the beds with leaves last fall um, to protect my my garlic and things like that. I wasn't even expecting my kale to come back. Um, but I cover everything with a thick layer of leaves and mulch um, so that it will de decompose into the beds and it fertilizes it. So it becomes its own compost. So I didn't want to take it all out. I wanted to leave quite a bit in here because again, um, this is natural compost. Um, it provides much needed nitrogen um, to the soil, which will then help um, just the soil to become and stay rich um, and will help the plants to continue to grow um, this year and in years to come without me having to fertilize it. Um, I don't use any kind of artificial fertilizer. Um, I did buy Trifecta from MI Gardener this year. Um, I'm going to try that out, but I haven't tried it in these beds. Um, and I'm really wanting to um, not use anything in the, these beds if I don't have to. So um, this one is pretty much done. Um, as you can see, you can now see these beautiful heads of kale that have spread and are coming up. And we got some lettuce right here as well, some more kale over here. So I'm going to move on to... Um, that bed over there um, and see what I can't get done um, now. Okay, so I came over here to the second bed. Um, I turned around. I was in that bed right there. And the first thing I noticed is that the, the soil is really hard. Um, and it's more of like a grayish tan color. There is nowhere near the amount of mulch in here that there was in that bed. And I'll walk over and I'll show you again. Look at the color of everything. You can see it's pretty, it's pretty dark. Um, and that is fantastic. I'm super thrilled with that because that means that the mulch, the leaves really helped and really did a good job over the winter. Here, for some reason, I didn't cover this as much or else it blew away or the dog got in it. But you can see everything is much harder and I definitely don't have the growth that I have in the other bed. Um, these are growing, I don't really know what these are. I can't remember what they were, um, but they're growing, but nothing else is really growing much. There's some small kale here and here, um, but this bed really needs the soil to be amended. And I'll be adding quite a bit of new compost to this um, once we get our compost delivery next week. 
so um, I'm still gonna clean it up I'm still gonna pull the weeds and the grasses out um, and have it ready um, but I just wanted to show you the difference um, in how I prepared bed one versus bed two and uh, what they turned out like.